The election of the left-wing slate to Labour's NEC has created mass hysteria about mandatory reselection. But what does mandatory reselection actually mean? It means that every five years, Labour members would get to select their candidate for the next election. It's not that revolutionary, but it is a good idea. Here's why. At the moment, new Labour candidates are selected by local members. But once someone becomes an MP, it's incredibly difficult to replace them. That means if they're in a safe seat, they effectively have a job for life. That's never good for democracy. MPs would be more accountable if they knew mandatory reselection was in place. People like Hilary Benn and Angela Regal would have been much less likely to an attempt to coup against the party's elected leader. And John Woodcock certainly wouldn't have got away with this. I will not countenance ever voting to make Jeremy Corbyn Britain's Prime Minister. And don't listen to anyone who tells you mandatory reselection will favour members over constituents. 2017 showed that Labour members have a much better idea of the public mood than elites in Westminster. Give them power on a local level and MPs will be more, not less, accountable to the voters they need. If Labour is to govern effectively, it needs to be represented by the best and brightest talents in Britain. Many of those will be in Labour's new, vastly expanded membership. Our current system locks in MPs from a period when Labour was a smaller, less vibrant party. Increased democracy would let new talent shine through. As it stands, to spark a contest in a constituency, members need to win what's called a trigger ballot. The current system demands a long, drawn-out and purely negative campaign. With mandatory reselection, you could fight a positive campaign for a community champion to be your next MP. Some MPs and journalists have said reselection could split the party. This is mistaken. First, it's unlikely that many would get deselected. The incumbency advantage of local networks and name recognitions mean most MPs should win in a fair fight. Finally, if the few that get deselected threaten to stand as independents, Labour shouldn't be too worried. Simon Danchuk tried it last year. He got 1.8% of the vote.